what things can happen for a vector field on the real line. So what kinds of end states are there exist for, this is a vector field on the real line. And there really aren't that many. You could have X goes to plus or minus infinity as T goes to plus or minus infinity. So for example, X dot equals X just increases exponentially and goes to infinity. You could also have that X goes to some finite point as T goes to, I think up here I shouldn't say plus or I'll just leave it as plus, as T goes to infinity. So you end up at a fixed point and that's it. And how, how can we understand this? Um, <clears throat> well, I guess there's, there's another thing to point out. So we either go to infinity or we go to a fixed point. There's no oscillations or cycles. So you cannot get, you cannot get something that looks like uh, this happening. You can't have the state oscillating in X if you just have a one dimensional vector field on the real line. You also will not have, um, this is showing what looks like a, you know, it's periodically oscillating. You can't have kind of damped oscillations either. So you won't have anything that seems to be kind of zeroing in on a fixed point, you won't have that. So this would be, you know, no, this isn't happening. That's not happening. Not, not for dynamics like this in 1D. <clears throat> and you might say, hold on, I know about the simple harmonic oscillator and that's just a one dimensional thing. And yet that shows a cycle. So what, what am I getting wrong here? Anybody know? Where's the simple harmonic oscillator? It's not 1D, it's 2D or three maybe. Yeah, two, it, it's 2D. Yeah, so the simple harmonic oscillator, the simple, it, it's actually, you know, if you think of mass times acceleration, it's an X double dot equals some F of X. So it's actually a 2D phase space. So it doesn't fall into this category that we've talked about so far. Um, how can you convince yourself that things only go to infinity or a fixed point? I mean, I think one way to do it is you just sort of plot uh, your favorite curve for X dot or any curve you can imagine that is smooth. So, I mean, I don't know, you've got any curve that you can draw, something like that. Um, you've got these points that intersect x dot equals zero. So that's where it's a fixed point. And if you're, the slope is going up, then this will be like moving to the right and everything here is then gonna end up, if you're to the left of this right point, you, you just sort of end up there. So that would be one of the end states, All right? So for any curve you could draw, it's just one of these two options. It's gonna happen, All right? So what's an example of going to infinity, minus infinity? Well, this thing, if this curve never actually intersects the uh, X axis again, then you'll just sort of keep on going towards negative infinity. Now, it's important that X be part of the real line because um, I could kind of cheat. Suppose I, I've got my X dot versus X. And let's just say I have this you know, always above X dot equals zero. But what if I cheat and I, 
I cut this here and here. I take the x-axis and I glue it together, right? Because this is a vector field that it's always pointing to the right. So if I take these, cut and glue, then what could I get? I could get, I just sort of bend the x-axis onto itself and I have a vector field pointing in one direction the whole time. And what do you know, I've made a cycle. So this would mean uh, X, this is a, a flow on the circle, which is topologically not the same as the flow on the real line. So that's a cheat. Topologically not the same. And we'll we'll talk about that possibility later. So if we're dealing with circles rather than the real line, then yes, in 1D you could get oscillations and it'll exhibit periodic solutions. But we'll talk about that later. There really isn't that much interesting phenomena that happens in 1D flows. But that's kind of the point. You kind of can know everything that's possible. Once we get to higher dimensions, other things can happen like cycles and eventually chaos. And it turns out, so you could have cycles when you have 2D, you could have chaos when you have three dimensions. And that's for vector fields. For maps, the situation is very different. You can get chaos with the simplest type of map, but we'll talk about that later.